Oh, wait, whoa, what's that sound? Uh... Oh, wow, thank you, A... A and D. Sorry if I don't know how to, uh... Do it, but... Yay, how you doing? Wow, thank you for the gift sub! Yes! My skill level has increased! Yeah, thank you so much, and thank you for following before. Hey, Nasaro, how you doing? Thank you for the host yet again. Okay, let's... Yeah, oh, DJ Mommy, I forgot I named it that. Yeah, so, uh... Still gonna be a, another week until I know if I can uh, stream... Call Halo Halo Feud at any time soon. So, I figure... Might as well finish up Ghoulies. Please stay, and please don't beat poor Mr. Ribs again. You rescue many strange girl and boy prisoners. With not help or nasty baron, do same to Mr. Ribs and Cookie. Please go see Mr. Crivens in his room. He know what to do. Type in quick. Those uh, on the Twitter. Jeff the Three is a riddle. Ah, uh, I mean, I really like Grab by the Ghoulies. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a pretty fun beat 'em up. I grew up on it, and I I still enjoy it quite a bit. <laughs> Yaha! Oh shit! No. Uh oh. Uh, I I was gonna go in. I'm just kind of speeding through it, because I've done all the bonus challenges and stuff before on stream. Yeah, aggressive typing. Sorry for that. <laughs> it's how my mic set up, and I don't have my headset on right now. I'll be more wary. Ooh, Mumbo. Yeah, it's made by Rare, the same people who made Banjo kazooie and it was their first game on the Xbox, and... It doesn't have the best reputation. Honestly, like, because obviously it's just kind of a pretty straightforward, simple beat em up. Oh no. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, this is, uh. This is kind of bad. Oh, this is not off to a good start. <laughs> I don't want that skull to hit me, or it will basically give me doom. Yeah. Yup, oh, well, I died right off the bat. Yeah, that was... Oh, that just collapsed into chaos. Fast. Cross to go bad. Yeah, but no, yeah, I, I really like it. It's just a, uh... Nuts and bolts isn't even that bad. Oh, wait, no, I'm not supposed to kill the TV. Duh, okay. I wasn't even paying attention to what the challenge was. So yeah, what I really like is it's basically like a nice fun beat em up, but each room has like really cool challenges. Like if Banjo Kazooie was like a larger series, like if it was like a Mario spin-off, people wouldn't be saying like, oh no, they killed Mario. They'd be like, oh, it's, they, they'd probably enjoy it actually. Oh, well, now I have Doom on me. Hello? I'm probably gonna die again. Yeah, this is where the game takes, like, a huge difficulty 
Oh no, the cursed mummy is actually the curse and so is Ricard. So as until the curse egg is able to defeat the cursed mummy. Well, there's no way to kill the cursed mummy, so hopefully I just find the key in the next five seconds or I'm dead. I forgot where it is. I think I am going to die again. Oh shoot. Wait, no, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Three, two, one, clutch! Hydrate! I literally got off like the last possible second. Awesome. Woe is me, can anyone save poor old Crivens from the winged monsters? I'm staying in here until they do. Yeah, I might stand so you don't hear the stuff on my desk and they can like use my regular mic. Love the sound design of the enemies in this game, that will always be great. So, like I said, here's the thing, like, I'm in the later game now, so you're really gonna see like the challenges get really wacky. And honestly, the coolest thing about the game is what happens when you fail the challenge. <laughs> if you've never seen this before. I'm sure you will if you stick around. Kinda overkill, but... <laughs> <laughs> Ah, cool! I'll try to check it out from around. My oh my, what a mess these rotten imps have made! I fear Miss Bubbrap is not gonna like this one one bit. Thank you for fighting so bravely on my behalf. Hmm? Now I hear young sirs to try to help the unfortunate souls that have been in prison in this no good house. Oh, oh yeah, Aura and Akira are coming out. Cool. Oh. I'm thinking about checking out five. Hmm. And then the Guilty Gear. I mean, the only thing is the online's not great. Uh... However, I'm afraid the daughter's called to see her by a magical rhyme. Okay, that'd be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try not to talk too much because my throat's kind of been bad the past few days. Yeah, ba basically, to, to get into the room with the final boss, you gotta find, like, a uh, rhyme. <laughs> and then Cooper does the count on his fingers. <laughs> I love Koopa as a protagonist. He's hilarious. Just uh, move my mic slightly. Sorry. Mm. Oh, yeah. Another thing, as you know, this, like, it, it's basically like a nice, fun, like, arcade style game. Wee. That's Wombo and Bits. Dang! Thank you! Wow! Thank you so much for the bits! I'll, I'll tell- I'll go tell Wombo that, that you, uh, spelt his name in the bits. One second. No, not open file explorer. Yeah, th thank you so much. Also, why did I pick up the box? That's a bad idea, because I know what's coming up. Because I know this game way too well. Uh... Okay, yeah, that's 
good to have out. What's going on here? Locked with brambles. Ink. It's in the washing machine, actually. Let's see if I'm right. Wait, the washing machine's not breakable. Oh, yeah, of course, it's gonna be the Jiggy painting. No? Raven, so probably this closet. Yep, there we are. One of the uh, more interesting enemies in this game, the Warlock. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got powerful magical blast. Oh, oh, after you beat him up, you can't uh, hit him again. This guy dropkick his dresser. Yeah, actually. <laughs> hey, Loki Durky. Yeah, no, I can imagine Koopa doing that. Uh, the funny thing is... <laughs> I like the reason, like, that is implied that Koopa knows how to fight is because he's a football fan. Like, Eng like, European football, so he's hardcore and he has... Most definitely gotten in a fight before. Uh oh, I might die. Oh no! Oh no, now I'm stuck in slow mo, Cooper. Come on, can I? Yeah! Clutch again! This room's just a clutch room. Drops a little book. Oh no, Shrek. I almost actually failed that one. Oh no. I would have just died. Okay. Oh, yeah, this was a little scary. Starts you on low health, and you got a bunch of skeletons with uh, furniture. I should be fine. Like, last year, like, I, uh, played this game, uh, on the hard mode you unlock, where you play as, like, Amber, which is, like, Cooper's, like, girlfriend you gotta save in the beginning of the game. And it's, like, you basically just have ten health maximum in every room. Oh, Invisi Koopa, hell yeah, good thing I look back. I never noticed it does a little like vibration when they're like near an enemy. Oh, this room! I love this room. This room's so stupid. <laughs> So the gimmick is it starts you on one health, and all the mummies are attacking each other, and... I'm gonna go try and get, try to get the book, because it's always a fun chance to get it. And now let's find these mini Koopas. And if you want the book... If you want the book, you gotta, like, sneak the back here. It's not that hard, but I, I just find it a really, yeah, I find it a really funny concept. Because otherwise the mummies are invincible, so if they were attacking you, you'd just be screwed. Ooh, okay, yeah, the bathroom's always an interesting room. Actually, I'll 
pick that up because that 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 stays the entire time. Yeah, an interesting thing about these uh, haunted cloaks. Yeah. So they have all this fun furniture in here, but you can only use your fists. Yeah. Well, so. Okay, okay, I didn't grab the bad one. Trade the fever. Trade the fever is very nice. Yeah, there's very similar enemies to the haunting cloaks in uh, Donkey Kong Country, and I don't think in this room, but a lot of the time they have enemies hiding in them, which leads to very interesting challenges. And of course you have the Ninja Imps, my favorite. And later in the game they gain this ability to basically like meditate and become big and strong. They gain extra health. Oh no no no, just... yeah. If the zombie apocalypse happened, well, I would uh, be like Cooper or like. I probably, I would honestly probably try to be like. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, I would survive it by. Uh, actually, maybe I'll try waking up the cloaks and uh, taking them out early. If you know what challenge is coming, you can just be scoop. Uh, I mean, I'll try to do a dead rising and just slice and dice. If you know what's coming, you can just kill them before the face comes up and just use the uh, furniture. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> the game's like, haha. You idiot. No. Get scary. Oh, oh, gotta watch out for the regular imp, too. Oh, jeez. Oh, so many skeletons with furniture. This is scary. I'm like, Cooper's guy, Cooper's strong. He's got the, uh, he's got the kicks of a uh, football hooligan. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. <laughs> how chaotic this game gets because like all the ghoulies can beat each other up too. Uh. Oh no, Medusa! Okay, here's how to kill Medusa easy. Uh. Dodge her. Grab Shocker Blocker. The game does the quick time event for you with Shocker Blocker. <laughs> Either up. Run away. He's upset. Okay, ow. I got actually got caught by a snake attack. Okay. Now she's dead. Yeah! Oh no, this one. This one's actually cool because it's got a lot of like Easter eggs. Like it's got, uh, it's got Mr. Pants. It's got, uh, yeah, no, there's a lot of the Easter eggs in this room. Yeah, it's got Mr. Pants. It's Mr. Pants. It's got, uh, 
I think Banjo's Goldfish Royston is in here somewhere. And it's also got, this is the most interesting one, it's got the uh, stop and swap if you uh, read the thing, if you read the homework. It's like, get the ice key, get the eggs, profit, whatever. Oh yeah, I love these skeletons. They're great. You, uh, the ghoulies can break everything they want, but you cannot break anything. Also, Banjo Kazooie! Like, yeah, it sucks because this room has so many cool Easter eggs, but they make you go through it so fast. And I think that's the only time you actually go to this room. So you can always just go back to level select and check it out at your own pace. And just keep replaying it. I never noticed these things. Oh, I didn't know there was like a little Banjo Kazooie book over there. Oh, like get well soon card. That, that's cute. My sheep! That's a really good way, lad. Lou Willie's got an eye infection. I got the infirmary to be there. No other way's got to. So, Griffin sent you off out to God and God and Greenhouse. Ah, there be a lot of strange going on. It's like Willie's water. Okay. okay, thanks again, Mr. Fiddleton. have to kill shit. No, I just gotta survive and kill Medusa. I should have killed Medusa before talking to him. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Okay. Okay. This is not that bad, I just gotta bait her. Shit. Okay, alternate idea. Kill her before talking to, uh, Mr. I forgot his actual name, holy shit. Cause, like, Mr. Fiddlestick is just, like, a joke, like, Cooper messing up his name. Fiddlesworth, Fiddlesworth, okay. I got super weapons. Let me poke her with bottles. Cool, 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 pro, pro strats, pro strats, pro strats, pro strats, pro strats. I'm the best grab by the Goodies player in the world. I don't know how many people speed run this game because they'd probably be better. Even then, I'd probably match up to them because I know this game so well. Also, oh, oh my god, it didn't give me the challenge. Like, it didn't even give me the survival challenge because I already killed the Medusas. That's cool. Yet another thing I didn't know about. Ooh, this is fun. This is, uh... This is where a uh, character, I think, if you're a Resident Evil fan, you'll really enjoy. Okay, there's zombie pirates, too. Get wrecked! Yeah, if a zombie apocalypse happens, just get a water gun filled with holy water, and you basically win. It's gotta be an auto-refilling one, though. It's gotta take the moisture out of the air to auto-refill. God, now I'm just thinking of, like, the fucking, like, Jelly Stone episode, where it's... Everyone turns into fish people, so they gotta... <laughs> they gotta shoot them with marinara sauce. Woo! <laughs> 
Yeah! There she is, Lady Demestricu! Lady D herself. Oh no, there's two Lady Ds. It's heaven. I actually beat, like, uh, I finally beat RE6 with Ed the other day. Fuck oh, my Snapdragon. What a greenhouse. Festerage, Feathers, Briggs, all that. No, okay. Yeah, I need a garlic gun to deal with them. I, I want to see if, like, uh, I can show off. I don't think they have it yet, though. Oh, shit, 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 shit. They're, like, wacky with that bat. <laughs> Yeah, but I also enjoyed RE6. I mean, I can see what people don't like as a Resident Evil game, but it's pretty fun. Though the Ada campaign basically boils down to Ada is hot and the main villain is a creep. Okay, this is a really tough challenge. It's... I gotta find... Oh, wait, this one. Oh, shit. I thought she was... Oh, I thought she was gonna do the attack. Limited shots. <laughs> Probably afford to like just shoot the chicken. I'm not even gonna be like a uh wait. Is that glow is that a glow Yep, the glowing chicken, there we go. Cool. Potting room. Mm -hmm. Lady D really likes the hum. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's pick it up. Call me Mr. Suspicious, but I have a hunch something may ba bad may happen as soon as I touch it. Oh, I remember this one. Okay, yeah, so this is the one where I can't kill two ghoulies in a row. Two of the same ghoulies in a row. So let's, uh, let's start with a skeleton. Let's move to- Oh, oh yeah, that's the attack! <laughs> where she brings you into a coffin and hearts come out. That- that's the best. <laughs> They knew what they were doing with her, like, years before Lady D. Ray knew what they were doing. Okay, now let's shoot a... Oh, shoot. I don't get caught by that, because it'll be stunned! Oh, no! Okay, cool. Got the chicken. Let's kill another skeleton. Okay, that skeleton's dead. Cool. Okay, I gotta think about this, because I think there's only one more chicken left. If I kill him, kill the chicken. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. And there's one more skeleton left. So, I actually remember a very important secret. around here soon. What is 
sworn it was this week I had it. Yeah, there, there's the rare book. All this time in this defense they do where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. One of these pots. Yeah, I'm mistaken. Maybe it wasn't this room. Maybe there's another one. Oh, there we are. Okay, that that question mark over there. Yeah. Pluck my pickle. Ah, I'd be in big trouble with the bear, that's a fact. Well, maybe Babs. Well, speaking of old Edna. Nah. Even so soon. Yeah, uh, there's the Hunchback. He's more of a pacifist monster. He only has one attack he rarely does. And he takes forever to kill. That's why I'm just gonna end the challenge. Oh, now I grabbed Turbo Cooper and Slow Mo Cooper at the same time. It looks like Slow Mo Cooper overrode uh, Turbo. Speed wise, at least. Good show, sir! Okay, we got the first line. Now we gotta go to the stables. Ah, uh, no. Right off the top. Oh boy. That's gonna be nice to pick up so I don't have to worry about quick time events. I know there's a bunch over here. Yo! God, yeah, the, the, this game has probably, like, the sound design that's stuck with me the most. My favorite is probably the spiders, which I hope we get to the spiders soon. Don't worry if you're arachnophobic. The spiders in this game are adorable, not terrifying. They are the good spider, the, not the bad spider. They, 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 they're cute spider. They are not frostbite spider from Skyrim. They make little oo-woo noises. Oh, yeah, they're, speaking of, there's the spiders. Look how adorable they sound. Yeah, I always get happy when I see the spiders. Oh god, I just remembered an enemy that's coming up now. Ugh, probably my least favorite enemy. Like, we got my favorite enemy in the game, but now we're getting up to my least favorite enemy in the game. Oh boy, this is, uh, this is gonna suck. Yeah, grab this preemptively, unless it just don't. No, I'll leave you alive, spider. I'll leave one, because I like it. Yep, yep. The worm. These guys are really obnoxious. The only ghoul in the world. What the hell is that achievement even? Encounter every type of ghoulie. Cool. Gonna... Whoop, I missed with that. Okay, so, uh... I think with these guys, you hit them. And they explode, and whenever they are red, they are immune, they are just completely immune to knockback, so you gotta, like, get the timing. Three, two, one.
there, there's no point in even using like furniture unless you know you can like out uh, like one shot them because the second they take any damage they go in vulnerable. Missing one? Oh, I need to find the one with the key, dumb and idiot. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even paying attention to the challenge. Okay, well, this is the thing I really like about the game. Uh, the Reaper. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like this is like an Easter egg, because it, yeah, yeah, it's like the, uh... Uh, so normally I got Dizzy Reaper, but the Reaper one-shots anything it touches. That includes other ghoulies, but that also includes you. It is possible to defeat the Reaper in certain places. And actually, I've gotten that achievement because you can actually hit it out the window on certain levels. And you get an achievement for it in Rare Replay, which is which I kind I love that they added that in. Oh boy, I think I remember what awful challenge awaits here. This banjo kazoo, I'd love that turret. Yeah, anytime all the doors are locked, it means a warlock's here. Oh, yeah, that's the one you gotta do in like 10 hits, 20 hits. You gotta be like small with your item use. Yeah, he walked away. Damn, he got me with the uh. He knocked out Mads, it's gonna help out a lot. <laughs> Even whips count as hits. <laughs> I've been getting really good RNG on him, holy shit. Oh shit, okay, damn, I lost my toilet paper. That that would have been really helpful. But it doesn't matter, I have- Oh shit, okay, can I maybe hit him with the TV? TV! There we go, hell yeah. Ah, oh, it, it, was, it was a plate. I don't know if it's antique. They, they, uh, they- Okay, so the explanation for why the rooms are like perfectly clean and everything's fixed by the time you get back is because of like the maid. Okay, so you can't kill more than one in a row. What's up, Sonic Sona game? It's a real thing! Okay, cool. Okay, well now, now there's more than one enemy. I can actually kill enemies now. And I only have- I can only use furniture and I used a lot of my furniture already! Ah, this sucks. Thankfully, the uh, zombies drop their arms and that counts as furniture. Unfortunately, the zombies are really uh, tanky. So, they're not as easy to kill as the flying imps. There we go. Got all them in the chaos. Wee. 
I mean, I know um, Ogana has like a Sonic costume in one of the da in the uh, dancing game. Oh yeah, this one. Survive and beat him up. Okay, so that's the one. I I did that. I did the one I was thinking of earlier with all the mummies and finding the key. And the uh, smart thing about the skeletons is uh, pretty much each ghoulie in the game, most of them like has a secondary ability that gets unlocked later in the game. And the skeletons' case, it's that they can pick up they can pick up weapons that you would normally use. So this challenge is pretty clever. Because it means... So... I don't want him to do that chant. Damn, I want to get him in the fire. Also, that's clearly Grant Kirko, because that sounds like Mumbo. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just gonna, gonna try to kite them. Oh, nope, I'm dead. Ooh, boy, yeah. Yeah, you can see that things can get out of hand really fast. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, I know and gets a Yakuza costume. No, it is Goro Majima. Like it's li that's literally what it is. Goro Majima. Sorry. Yeah, screw it. I'm just I'm just gonna grab all like the bad things and let them wear off. Oh no! The game screwed me over. Oh no! The game knew what I was doing. I'm using the freeze right now. Projects? Okay. Oh, is achievement for game? I didn't know there were that many achievements to grab by the ghoulies in this game. I do, I guess. Is the one where she sucks me in. Damn it! Oh, that that hurts. That hurts. He makes you like vulnerable for a second. Oh no, he's got the curse out. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna try kiting him for the rest of the game. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna survive this. Okay, if I do one more, make my way over right now. I should be good. Okay, I need to be a lot more aggressive against these enemies. Uh, first things first. Uh, yeah, you're going right into the fire. Cool. Okay, I know where the freeze is at least. Uh, and yeah, you're going right into the fire too. I don't have to worry about it. At least I don't have to worry about the cursed mummies. as many as I can and run away. Oh, she's got the shovel. Shit. Okay, well, that at least hurt one of the other ones. Gotta be careful you don't hit me into one of the uh, bad uh, soups. Huzzah! Huzzah! Oh, shit. Okay. I'm, I'm going for the freeze. I'm going for the freeze. Okay, maybe Cooper should help me out. 
Oh shit! Okay, some of the skeletons started fighting each other. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, oh, damn! He attacked so fast. Oh, that shovel skeleton is so no. That shovel skeleton is so overpowered. Okay, Mini Cooper should help me out. Uh, oh yeah, that that's where uh, Freeze was. Cool, 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 cool. Make my way right to the door. Oh, jeez, that room was rougher than I remember. I was a little tempted to just get the Reaper, because, like, the Reaper would be pretty, pretty busy with all those skeletons, because... The Reaper, there's a little, like, guitar riff after each kill, so... Ugh, this one. Ugh. Shit, I did I had no idea there was a uh I had no idea there was like a one shot here. I always I learn something new every time. Wow, okay, that was uh the smoothest I've done this room. I I didn't know there was a uh one shot uh soup in here. Oh, I remember this one. Don't kill any ghoulies. Get the key. I forgot where the key is, so I'm gonna start off invincible. Izzy Reaper. And there's a timer, and it's not even a time mode yet, so that's always a good sign. Thankfully, I got the key, like, right away. Cool. But it's never that easy. So, uh, let's see what happened there. Yep. I sure showed him the door. Oh, shit. I don't know if they got affected by Trader Beaver. Oh, boy. That's the worst possible. That means I could have shown up. Okay. I could use that to my advantage. Okay, I just need to get one more good combo on the door. Okay, he's doing his, like, bad up thing. Okay, oh, it's gonna be clutch. Woo! Last second! I'm getting a lot of clutch wins today. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Watcha know? Smoke means thingy. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ribs. I'm gonna have to go to the blacksmith room again. Is 
there's no horses in here. This isn't a very stable stable. Aha, funny joke. I'll get him on the way back. Let's go. Hey, Spoilers, how you doing? There's a little lag on this game in this collection, but not that bad. There's just some stopping. Also, hey, Jacko! I just, I didn't watch the trailer, but I saw Jacko got added to, is getting added to go to be a strong. Which is not surprising in the slice, but interesting to see how she plays. Maybe I'll try her out. Didn't really get into Gold Lewis yet, but... He's a very cool character concept that I enjoy beating. Right, bro, mockable. Oh boy, time for the third time for the third page. I can't get hurt, and I have a minute and thirty minutes to get there. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Baron Von Gould. Never cease to amaze. Also, there's only one door and the Reaper spawns at the door, so I'm kind of in trouble if I fail this. Probably best to just play it safe. Yes, stay calm. Kill ghoulies. I'd buy a shirt that says that. Their fireball attack is the one I'm most afraid of, because that, that can just come out of nowhere. Oh, they have a big build-up to it, but if it, like, I don't know this it, I'm basically screwed. Okay, who? okay, that wasn't too bad. Getting close to the end. Ugh. You need to set fire to cakes. Cool. Oh no, this is the one I was thinking of when I was thinking of hating this. That's why we're going to start the challenge. Oh, I think I remember what this challenge is. Pretty clever, you kill a mummy, a skeleton pops out. I'm just going to go until they start the challenge, if they start the challenge. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I... Okay, okay, so that one's not too bad. It's don't kill two ghoulies, two of the same ghoulies in a row. Which is sometimes easier said than done, but it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Kill mummy, skeleton pops out. So the problem is, yep, I already failed. Well, there we go. And you still gotta complete the remaining challenge, even if you fail one. <laughs> oh, 
but yeah, that that's a good example of how awesome the Reaper is. Like, the Reaper isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like, if you're having trouble killing a certain enemy, it may be worthwhile to just fail a challenge and have the Reaper kill them. Because it's always a one shot, it goes through any invincibility. Only problem, it speeds up the longer it's around. So, you got if you bring the Reaper out, you gotta finish quick. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one is just quick time event challenge. And there's a Jesse and Clyde over there, which I do not want to go near. But yeah, no, I knew it. Anytime there's a quick time event, there's usually a uh, chocolate block nearby. Pretty sure the book is over by Jesse and Clive. I just don't want to deal with them. They may even be holding the book for all I know. Whee. Whee. Oh, this, okay, I, I'm gonna make sure to, uh, show this dialogue coming up. I remember this all too well. Oh, no, not you guys. Oh, this is gonna suck. This went from I got everything in control to everything is burning. In like two seconds flash. Yeah, beat me up. I'm invincible, baby. I have invincibility on, so I might as well just eat the explosion. There's too many worms here. Four, three, two. Okay, that ends up working out. He got hit by his uh, buddy's explosion. You don't want to go near Medusa when she doesn't have a gaze on. She had the book, cool. Buy my beef! I wonder if she likes airy backs. What, what the? Oh, hello, lad. Just uh, keeping an eye on me would. Ho ho! <laughs> well, it all looks in order now. Bye for the. I should mention that this game's title is a uh, innuendo grabbed by the ghoulies. Hey, I forgot Edna. He's gone. I guess I'll take it with me. What are my plans? Uh, I think I'll have to get the hang of that. Yeah, he's the uh, he's the original. Widowsworth is the original domestic coup stan. A powdered donut skin. A 
Okay, so you gotta kill 10 zombie chickens. Only problem is they didn't turn into chickens yet. You gotta kill them when they're zombies. So you gotta wait for them to transform to kill them. But thankfully, once you kill them, they're just one shot. And also, it's not that big a deal if the Reaper shows up because you can just shoot them. Pretty easy challenge, but to be fair, this wasn't the only challenge in the room. It was getting past all the Medusas, too. Okay, making our way back to the mansion. Windy garbage yard. Oh no, this one! Grab my go! Thank goodness that the safe lad look for her. right off and off the car to lie down. Okay. Yeah, uh, and there's a lot of chairs around. That's usually not a good sign. Uh, so you can't kill the enemies. You can't put. You can't hit the enemies unarmed. You can't hit the enemies with weapons. Uh, what do you do? You just say screw that and just beat them up with the Reaper, cause. Fuck this oh no, I got slow mo Cooper. That's okay. Oh my god, it makes my attack slow mo. I didn't know that could happen. Oh wait, I forgot you have the friendly mummy. Oh shit, I didn't think this through. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, no, I forgot there's like a friendly mummy here. Oh, Trash can? Where's that mummy? I'll be in the air. Oh, oh nice though, I'm not complaining. Mini Koopas, Mini Koopas are nice. Uh, I'll take that for now. Aha! This is the mummy! From around over here. Hey, the the the, the, the chair found the book for me. Oh, trade a fever. Yeah, trade a fever is nice. Uh, that's the only chair that's left. Because if so, I may just take the. Uh, it, no. They're beating each other up now. But does he only show up during the second phase? Is 
This might be the worst challenge in the game, honestly. I know what they want me to do, it's just really hard to do it. Ah, come on. Okay, yeah, the mummy does show up during the second phase. Oh, yes, mummy, thank you. You saved me. <gasps> DJ mummy saved me. Snivy, you're just in time to see oh, yeah. DJ Mummy oh. saved my life. He's beating up the Reaper. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Mummy. DJ, M I I'm assuming you're DJ Mummy. Thank you. Back to the kitchen. Oh boy, yeah, another scary chat. Okay, oh, that's the ten hit one, and there were nine ghoulies I gotta kill. Thankfully, there's a lot of traders, so. Ah, uh, no, he's after me now, because I think the cake might have- wait, no! Yeah, if they ever had the question mark above them, it means they're from their, uh, you know, talking to you, because you know, you them. Oh, nope, I got the mummy off my side, damn it. Uh, that was, I shouldn't have thrown, I, I shouldn't have touched those cakes at all. I'm gonna die. Wait, no, there's still, there's still one guy on my side. There's still one guy on my side, it's not over. the champ <laughs> that pirate is the goat he's the VIP actually no 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 uh, DJ mummy before in the trash yard is the real champ cuz he literally beat up the Reaper for me Yeah, 
that's why I just sneak on through. Oh no! I mean, to be fair, this is one of the rooms where I'm pretty sure you can kill the Grim Reaper. Yeah, no, I think that's the first place I've ever done it. Let me see if my suspicions are correct. Yep. Yep. window come on oh well, you're one of them There you are. Hello, warlock friend. Oh, shit. I can't get hurt. Well, guess what? This has one of the craziest secrets possible. Trader Fever, Jesse and Clyde. Oh, shit, but I already fucked up. Damn it. Okay, actually, this is one of the ones where you can kill the people. There we go, Reap is gone. This might be the easiest room to kill the Reaper in, actually. Uh oh. Uh oh, I don't want to see any confusion on you. I don't want to have to deal with the Jesse and Clyde right now. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> well, that room was a trip. Oh, oh, poor imp. Look at them ghoulies. Oh no, this one. This one is like literally one of the roughest in the game. You know what? I'm gonna break my own rules. Oh shit, god damn it, I thought uh, I thought I was out of their range of uh Oh shit, yeah I'm not allowed to use furniture, yeah that's right, god damn it. Well I'm dead anyway. 
Yeah. Uh, so this is basically just... <sighs> you gotta avoid Jesse and Clyde. You can't kill them. Isn't there a secret I've never known about this whole time that would make this e Oh my god, there was! I am an idiot. I'm the biggest idiot ever. I've done this game so many times and I had no idea there was like an invisibility power-up like right back there. Granted, it probably won't last the whole room, but that's still utterly amazing. And to be fair, it's hardest to kite them at the uh, beginning of the room, okay, so I'm not complaining. up to me. Let's just make sure they don't throw me too far back. Damn it! Ugh. Yeah, it's gonna go again. Oh, there's another invisibility. They didn't know that. Okay, so there must be invisibility uh, soups hidden throughout the level. It's Klongo. He saves the world. Could have sworn you fought the door at the end of it, but... Maybe it's because I was invisible the door didn't spawn. Who knows? Oh, this one's a fun challenge. So, it is, this is one of the few rooms where, like, no matter what you do, the Reaper is going to spawn. There is nothing you can do to stop it. The question is... How do you deal with it? What I like to do is... Oh, no. Oh. So it's usually best, you can spawn enemies, I use- oh shit, oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die right away. Oh! Oh, that was almost really bad! Oh god! Oh, this one's a fun one. Yeah, you'll see, like, towards the end of the game, you get some really wacky-ass challenges. This is the race to the attic. have a big ass gun that like one shots most enemies and a race against time which I do not have I think I'm gonna barely be able to make it before the Reaper appears and even if the Reaper appears it's not the worst case scenario because I can just pop him And yeah, adding, adding all like the quick time events here are good, because unless you have the shock of rock, you're probably really intense. 
hand, and I got it with a second to spare. Hell yeah. Okay, we're back in the main hall, which means it's almost time. And they give you a little bit of catharsis here of, oh no, look at all these skeletons. You got one health, but you also got a big ass gun. And absolutely wreck house if you get the hang of it. There we go. The, the laser zapping the skeleton's crotch and then it so this one is just this one is just catharsis before the big bullshit yeah the chaotic evil mess of this game oh okay well it's not the, like the most easy because you only have 15 seconds to kill but it's pretty easy because you did two shots him you just gotta be on your toes <sighs> Hopefully you didn't cause too much of a mess killing the uh, warlock, cause... Yeah, but yeah, hey actual curve, thanks, thanks for popping in! Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna want to kill that guy. Oh, damn, that was a bad idea. <gasps> Mini Cooper! Shit. I got too excited for mini coops. Uh, and I'm dead. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, the, the dialogue sound effects are great. The spiders are my favorite, but all the ghoulies have good ones, like the ants and everyone. Okay, well, let's preemptively at least get the. Uh... Oh, Like just uncover what we can before going on to see Babs. Hey, good thing I uncovered this. This could be bad. I'll probably start going to town once the. Uh, Invisibility becomes a thing. Wait, why is it not going down? Uh-oh. Uh, I think the game glitched out a bit. Now it's counting down for some reason. Oh, 
Okay, now I think it's time we're gonna go into uh, invisibility. Cause things shit's getting crazy. I'm really gonna have to kill that zombie pirate, aren't I? Okay, well, if it's just him, he's not too bad. Good. Nice, Mini Cooper got me covered. Hell yeah. Okay, now this is probably one of the most creative challenges in the game coming up. Because it's less about beating up monsters and more about solving a puzzle. But first, let's watch the cutscene. In Dr. Crackpot's lab. <laughs> Are you looking for this little man? Me, me. Come on, take it then. I haven't got all day. This is all you'll be getting from me. Okay, you ready for this stupid shit? I'm gonna turn into a super monster. And then Koopa... <laughs> Koopa does the Looney Tunes thing and he plugs up a goddamn ray gun. What, what that? It's quite a design flaw. Uh, back to the drawing board, me thinks. Here, take the paper. These are my words. I'm just saying what happened. <laughs> this is a while away. So you don't actually fight him, which I thought a battle against him would be pretty cool, like a guy in a giant mech, but... This is kind of a boss battle in itself. Okay, so... First things first. Find the ghoulie key. Find the key, it was uh, right back here. I can do this without waking up the Jesse. There is a contingency plan if you do. Skeleton here, you're not allowed to kill skeleton. Hmm. And the vampire has the ghoulie key, but there's nothing we can do. There's no garlic gun in here, then. The garlic gun is literally the only way, unless there's maybe a fire. So, what you gotta do is you have to spawn the Reaper. So I kind of got myself in a pickle, uh... Oh, damn it! Okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll do the contingency plan, because there is a contingency plan to kind of take care of the Jesse and Clyde, so they're not as big a nuisance. Also, I think the... If I'm not wrong, the key may be semi-random. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, it's random. me a bit, but that's okay. Hey, little Gus Google Poof, how you doing? There's a, uh, parade of fever back here. Fail the challenge here. Ah, it's going pretty good. Thanks for asking. I'm just going to do invincibility. Where are you, Reaper? I need you. Oh. 
Jesse and Clyde are being a nuisance again, and they keep beating up the Reaper. So the Reaper killed one of them. Touch, touch the vampire. Touch, touch the vampire. Fine, if you want to kill all the Jesse and Clyde, go for it. That's, that's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. The issue is you gotta. Yep, I'm dead. Ugh. Yeah, honestly, I would completely love this if not for the Jesse Clyde. It's already clever enough on its own, but the fact they had to add in the Jesse and Clyde's, like, ugh, is really annoying. Yeah, no, it's kind of a fun game to speed. I haven't really sped run it officially before. God damn, I'm getting the bad RNG for the, uh, key. Oh my god, I got the worst RNG for the key. Oh, now they're awake. Where the chaos commences. You know, you know what? I think <laughs> just because I don't want to have a headache, I may just take care of all the Jesse and Clyde. Oh, I feel like that's part of the puzzle, honestly. Just gotta make sure I get the uh, Reaper in a good position. Like, as long as they're not near the vampire, we should be good. Yeah, no! Oh, why? Why? Oh. God damn it, stupid Jesse and Clyde. I hate you so much. Uh, yeah, honestly, like, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna F around. I'm just... Right away, right away, just get him to fight. Just get him to fight right away. Oh, I hate them so much. So big of hate. Yes. Okay, let's speed it. Cool, 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 cool. Pop, just pop. Holy shit! Oh my god, they're focused on me right now. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. Okay, alternate strategy. I am just going to kill all the Jessies and Clydes right now. Cause... Okay, one more, one more normally, one more normally. You know what? No, don't even, don't even worry about the, the key. I'll just beat up, uh, I'll just hop through all of them before the worms even get me. No, they're not. No, they're not. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm de Wait, skeleton, get in the way. Get in the way, skeleton. Cool. No, 
Nope. It's ah. Uh, Okay, I'm, I'm gonna kill- I've never had this much trouble with it before. Like, never in my life. So yeah, I'm just- I'm just gonna take care of them before anything else happens. So there's like a freeze thing, so... Oh no, they're stuck with their invincibility. Okay, that sucks. Oh wait, no, no, you can hit them during their uh, invincibility. They're just focused on each other, that should be the worst. They're just the three in the old town. Oh wow, lucky me! Okay, cool. Don't let the skeleton come to me. Well, I am just dead now. Okay. Okay, and that didn't count because I didn't kill him. Oh my god, this is this is going to like master disaster now. Okay, thank you. Good. Why? Why? Why is Jesse fine? Why is Jesse fine? Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. We're right here. She's right here. Nice. We got it. Okay. Ooh. And you want to know? This isn't even the worst room in the game. The worst room in the game is this. It may not look like much, but it is absolute hell. amount of health and these skeletons can fuck you up. Best way to do it is just take your time, bait them out, let your ninja imps do most of the work. Let things get a little less chaotic. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Reg regular skeletons are bad. Just, oh god, bottle skeletons are scary. Nice, thank you. Shit, no, don't, don't, don't put me up. Why is he so tough? Okay. Okay, I think we should be good to run through. Ooh, first try. 
Yeah, if you try to just run through that room blindly, you are going to die. <laughs> okay, we're heading off to the final boss. In my room, do I hide a surprise with the secrets for nobody's eyes? Uh -huh. the flaps, A OK, spring the prop, shocks away. <gasps> Faster down the runway we go, let's take to the skies. Tally, valley, ho! He's at the door. Except no, you teleport back. <laughs> I mean, I could probably get like a shock blocker here, but where's the final map? You only have 10 hits to kill. The door! First of these hits. I missed. Awesome. I think count for a hit though, thankfully. Let's see how much health he has left so we can beat the double. No! Ah, this is this is bad. Uh oh. I think I might just face the Reaper then. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here because oh no, no, why they get slow mo Cooper? Why they get slow mo Cooper? Ah, out of all of them to get, it's, I got slow-mo. I mean, Reverse Koopa would've killed me. And Energy Sap would've killed me, too. It's preemptively, like, reacting the furniture. So I'm not, like, tossing my pants down again. Oh wait, damn, I'm an idiot! Uh, I, I forgot you gotta do the quick time event, which will break my item. I think that would've broke it too. Say play cool, you'll be good. Get out special attack. Oh. There we go, piece of cake. Once you know the key to that doorknob attack, he's not bad at all. Oh, 20 seconds to kill all these imps. Let's go. Can't run from me. Piece of cake. Okay, off to the final boss now. Oh, yeah.
Chapter 4, The Reckoning. Up to the butler. Griffins, what's going on? Who are you fighting? Oh, that's right. This is a disagreement Baron on your behalf. I believe this key I took from you will help you release those poor souls. Punch you in the face. Take off the mask. Yeah, the butler was him the whole time. Oh, this boy, you like my disguise? Bet you never guessed that the butler did it. Oh, I enjoyed toying with you throughout. Okay. Oh, I never know this. He's got like Mumbo on his pajamas. Okay. So he's, uh. I've done this boss with like only like 10 health before, so. Well, I think it's. I forgot what it was, but like lower health. People attack can't hurt me. This is where it kind of gets tough. Gotta take his spear and you gotta hit him when he's not. And it gets harder as it goes. Yeah, once he starts getting this fast, it gets pretty tough to, like, uh, get him. You can, like, hit it on, like, breakable objects to, like, make it fail. Ah, oh, damn, I messed it up. Oh, well. It's gonna take longer. Oh, yeah, and you can't try to beat him up more. Oh, no, he got me on the, uh... This isn't working. I can't put it off any longer. The Red Baron. Oh boy, this part. <laughs> okay, well, to be fair, like, that's yeah, probably the worst part. I mean, I remember it was hard to do on Amber Bowl because I had way less health, so there were, like, no loser mistakes. Probably best to hang around this desk because you can like kind of pretty oh not all the time but you can kind of pretty come on come at me Attacking on me, you must join me and we was farther inside. No, that's not true, that's impossible. Oh, wait, wrong speeds. I meant to say I'm a spawn gentleman. Okay, so this is where things get kind of fun. Hide them and then you blast them. I usually like to hang around the desk, but it's. Makes it act weird. I also get to see Baron Von Gul from different, like, eras, like this. I think 90s Von Gul. He killed the skeleton for you. Zombie time, zombies are a piece of cake, obviously. There's only one enemy phase I'm like really worried about. 
And you can probably guess what it is based on what I've said what I think. Not Jesse and Clyde, though. Oh, God. Imagine if you spawned, like, four Jesse and Clydes. That would be... Fuck it. Like, if I were make a... If I were to, like, mod a Kaiser run of Grand Final Fantasy, that's what I would do. I would have him spawn, like, four Jesse and Clydes at one point. That you all have to kill before you can damage him again. Actually, oh, this was the phase, but it's like, oh yeah, I forgot it's actually not that bad, because he... Okay, I couldn't get him. Like I said, the, de the desk is the best area to be during this battle. You can kind of round easy, he sometimes crashes into the desk. Well, zombie pirates are a little scary, because they do have a solid range of attack. Really not too bad. Whoa! Yeah, see, he just gets broken. I think it's this plant in particular that messes him up. Oh, damn, no, I gave that to him. Uh, it's not the best. I guess ideally if we want to do it kind of normally, give him some distance. And piece of cake. He's dead. <sighs> and I've beaten Baron Von Goo yet again. Yaha! Oh. <laughs> He's got his hands around your girlfriend. Actually, I was impressed. This king, you're my hero now. My hero. Academia. Mr. Ribs, hold on to prisoner's skeleton door. You go with Bonehead, I'll tell my bab. So, we are not done yet. You beat the final boss, but uh, there's a uh, one final challenge to do. Oh. Time for kissy kissy later. Hero pardon, boy. Chase Mr. Ribs now. I don't know, I gave him kind of a Ricky voice with like a jaw jaw voice. Now we gotta speed run through the mansion and save everyone who's been locked up that you've been seeing throughout the game. I'm quick. 13 minutes real time. Rescue this one first. She looked good, but we're on now. What room to glance? <laughs> oh no, Hunchy! <laughs> Stole only for the Hunchy. Hunchy now beats you senseless. Yeah. Now, if there's a challenge complete somewhere. Now that I'm mad that's combat early, because, like. Also, nice thing, now that Baron Von Boo is dead, your health only starts at 50. Oh, there, there we go, there we go. I knew there was a way to do it fast. And yeah, the one shot. Oh yeah, let's -a go. Now, I don't know if you know this that just now. Another strange girl free. Yeah, a lot of these uh, prisoners are interesting positions, but that's not my main point. You might have noticed something. You might not. Brain damage. Oh, 
Oh no, I only have five hits to kill all of them. Whatever shall I do? Chance complete. Whee! Turbo Cooper. Tickle my turkey, okay. And uh, yeah, Baron, run. Okay, let's go. Little Willie's yours. Okay, let's go. What's next? Dunfidling College. The college, I mean, not college. Oh god, imagine if we had a college. <laughs> Rescue boy and ginger hair vegetable man. Okay, cool. That kind of kid was just stuck in his cot the whole time. That's kind of messed up when you think about it. And now we're just playing a bunch of TVs. TV. TVs get short circuited by water, so they're pretty easy to kill. Hoorah, let's go. Oh, yeah, this one. Roast my rooster. Thanks for playing all them TVs on my cards. Turn the turkey. Okay, well, let's put it back off. No monster with a mustache and glasses. Even Harry Potter. Let's do play the lad. Let's go. Dog disturbed our feast, right? The cabin boy, yeah. So, this is one. <laughs> I think if I go here, you don't have a bunch of skeletons you can help people, you got a bunch of mini creatures. Like the pirate battle theme, that's probably one of my favorite tracks in the game. Piece of cake. Yes. Almost done. And this is the whole cake. <laughs> Next room. I think this one's just quick time events. That's big quick time event challenge. Unless you get the shocker blocker. Did you guys pop girl? There'll be a monster in the door. Oh my god, Koopa's face there. Okay, and this one's fun too. <laughs> Need to bring Zack a mechanic that hasn't been in there for a while. Ooh. Ooh. Let's pay too creepy for here already. Save poor mouth five bully. There we go. I think it stops time doing these cutscenes.
zombies, mummies, but not the ancient mummy. Oh, the cursed mummy, I mean. Let's, I don't know what it is about this, but like for some reason, like for some reason it's harder. Like normally, like I, I don't know how it is, because normally you can like spin the stick, but it hasn't been working for me. Spin the stick to get like out of that. Same for like the uh, chicken on your head or the imps on your head. <laughs> But this one being wacky. Oh. Hello, I'm saved this point. Smelly towels. Okay. Oh. Almost done. Go oh, two ghoulies twice. Gotta kill three skeletons. Did I see Clyde's still down there? No, there's a chance complete instead. Hell yeah. So you get rewarded for remembering some of the hot spots of stuff, like remembering the Jesse and Clyde down there, or remembering like the skeletons who helped you with the mutiny in the original dining room. It's really nice. It's it's funly designed. Every jump scare's gotta get you before you escape. Wall garden, this one's fun. You get the pop. I guess I guess I should be grateful, but fuck you. Okay. Paper jaws are fearsome serpent now. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, so like this one's like I guess theoretically you can win it without failing, but who in their right mind is going to? Also, you do it so fast anyway, it's usually not a big deal, because you could just... And, and you have the Papa too, so... You could just pop the Reaper. Yeah, theoretically, like... <laughs> Theoretically, it's possible to do this challenge legit, but like, it seems more like a joke. <laughs> TV gave me so much trouble as a kid because I couldn't understand attack timing. <laughs> This hallway of uh, evil soups. Navigate through. <laughs> no, this furniture pops out even though he can't eat. Well, actually, I'm dumb. Let's go type a groovy. She outside house. Cool. <laughs> and of course, Babs is there. <laughs> she's just like, hey, have this gun, it's fine. And she's like, well, no, actually, stop making a mess of the house. And of course, we need one more showdown with the door. The original door.
there we go. Got the last... I'm pretty sure that was the last one. But let's finish it up. One more person to save uh, right out front. And that's a telephone that introduced us to the scares. Of course, they can't help themselves. I wonder. Oh, okay, there we go. I, I thought they were gonna be cheeky bastards and put like the shock blocker right there. I mean, they kind of already were with the courtyard challenge. <laughs> But yeah, this game never ceases to amaze me because I feel like I learned something new every time and yeah, I did. I learned the location of... I, I learned how to make one of the hardest rooms in the game pretty damn easy. If you want to explore the, these levels more, you can access them later in level select. Hey, going back to the front gate. <laughs> that is good old Baron Von Ghoul. Let's go unlock. Oh. Let's go in there, Ribs old chum. I guess you are the real here now. Where's Amber? Let's get out of here. Yes, where is Amber? Hey. Uh, I actually don't. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm Let's about. The oops. Yeah, I'm about to beat the game. <laughs> Already? It's been like two oh, hours. Like... Yeah, it's been only two hours. I mean, I started. I it's continuing from when I did it started a couple weeks ago. Oh. I saw it like halfway through. Hmm. Okay, last challenge, we're gonna kill them with the soup spoon. Oh, you're playing a chef. Yeah, the chef. A big ass spoon. No, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna try doing it without any soups this time. I'm gonna do it legit. Soups, uh, the soupless Masius will run. I'm always learning new things about this game every time I play. Like, I found the location of some soups that made... I, I found the location of a soup. There's this one room that is a bunch of, like, Jesse and Fies that you gotta sneak past, but it turns out there's an invisibility soup right at the beginning of the level, like, if you turn to the right. <laughs> and then sometimes, uh... Yeah, I did it! I beat the game! Sometimes you can just uh, do a dance that can confuse the Madokins. Yeah. And then they'll just go over to the place you need them to go to anyway. 
Well, no, that's oh. the jump. You jump over the cliff and then they follow you. Yeah, they just got all confused. Yeah. So I'd be a dumb head. Come on here, don't hang about. That is kind of going through it because I'm getting hungry again. Oh. If, if you want to see Dold the dialogue, you can watch one of the previous oh. screens of which of which there are many of this game in particular. That my big. Were there really only like three like uh, people in this mansion other than the farm people? Well, there was also the uh, mad scientist, but but yeah. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of ghoulies. Well, they were also all like the prisoners. Yeah, but I mean, these are the like the only three people who just like chill in this mansion. Yeah, basically. Twenty-five out of twenty-five. Oh man, I didn't get a perfect score. 24 out of 25 what? Oh, I did get the, uh... Oh, oh, filled up my first ticket. Okay, that's for, like, rare replay. Uh... I'm just making it 22. 24 out of 25 conviction. No, that's probably just beat the game. Beat the game, yeah. Prisoners rescued! And... Wait. I thought you just rescued them all. Ah. Uh... I mean, I've never... I mean, you do. I mean, I think theoretically you can run out of time and not save them all. I don't know what that oh. ending looks like, though. I've never done it in my life. How come you never attempted, then? Let me see, actually. I want to sit through the credits. <laughs> Wait. If I just restart, honestly, yes, you I'll restart Rare Replay and just do it. Let, let's see what happens. We're gonna have to wait, we're gonna have to like waste 13 minutes, but I want to see what happens if you don't rescue anyone. I could like saw in the final chapter and then just wait around. I have no idea if there's even any footage of that online. Like, holy shit, because it's like. It's not hard to save everyone. Like, they, they give you, like, it's like 13 minutes. It doesn't seem like a lot, but, like, even if you're not the best at the game, it's still pretty, uh... Doable. Yeah, still very doable. Because it's, like, at the la at the end of the game, right? Yeah. Also, I could have just quit to the menu. What am I doing? Oh, well, I guess I'm booting up the Xbox One. Yeah. Yeah, because each of the challenge rooms, even if you're doing them, like, legit, like are pretty quick. Like, the longest would probably be fighting, like, uh, Hunchback legit, or maybe the uh, Pirate Bat. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. A uh, new thing I'm gonna learn. What happens if you fail that final challenge? Wow, how do you how how do oh, you Oh boy, there's my first save name. The oh well. How do you not save the prison armors? I mean, when I was a kid, I was like, like, if you're that bad at the game, you're not gonna make it that far. Because the last few challenges are just completely brutal. Mm hmm. Yeah, I could have actually just quit out of the game back to the rare replay menu, but I'm like, oh, restart the console. Look at all them mummies. Wait, no, I don't want to go there. I don't want to watch a video. 
can, we can watch them making a grab by the ghouls. Is it like the Donkey Kong 64 thing? No, no, it's not. It's bloopers. Defeat 1,000 ghoulies over time. That's an achievement, too. Okay. That's easy. I'm, I'm surprised how many achievements there are for this game in here. Okay, cool. So let's do features, uh, replay chapter. Chapter 5, The Race. Okay, uh... Now we just kind of, uh, waste time. So how's your day? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'll, I'll, I'll do something. I'll do something else while we're like waiting. <laughs> Are we going to watch Dragon Ball? N not on stream. <laughs> I got an idea. Boot up Guilty Gear, but like by the time that's done loading, the timer will be done. Hmm. Put this boy in, and. Yes, got this set up. There we go. I'll just mute that for now as this kicks up, and I'll play what I've been playing in my downtime. Other than FF14. Uh -huh. <laughs> Speaking of time, also you're gonna have to watch chat for me if anyone's talking, which I don't think they are. <laughs> oh. Nah, no, that's fine. It's grabbed by the. Oh, bad joke, cause we. Yeah. Oh, the the uh, jiggies of time. From the vast deep forest of Hyrule. Wait, what are you? What? Which one's the gameplay? Which one's the video? Not, none of them are a video. Are you playing two games at once? Well, yes, yes, I am clearly playing both games at once. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, no, yeah, you're just waiting around. Yeah. 
and you've just like found some sort of banjo kazooie like Ocarina well no time it's mod. a fairly well known mod how am i missing judy's Lost Woods. Yeah. Oh, Gerudo Fortress, I'm missing a... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let me just go back to my uh, save state. Guess it didn't actually save. Okay, I have everything in uh, Gerudo Fortress. Hell yeah. I have 800. Sometimes I have to remind myself of that invisible timers are like the worst thing ever. Like imagine just like a timer ticking down. Now imagine it doesn't exist. Yeah. Cause that, that, those do exist in certain games. Yeah, they do. That's why I never really liked um... Uh, the Minish Cap in Zelda. You might yeah. have heard me talk about that once or yeah, twice. Yeah, and then there's also, like, stuff like Metroidvanias, where, like, you don't actually, like, the ti like the timer is if you want to get, like, the best ending or best score. You gotta get there's actually, score. like, uh, one moment in, like, Wario Master of Disguise really early in the game where you don't know how much time you have. You just kind of have to wing it. Oh. And you're clearly not going to get it your first time around. Huh. So the, so the game just kind of resets you back. Oh no. Well, you the know, entire like... The game? You know, no, 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 right before that point. Oh, okay. The problem is, it's just kind of a really tough segment. And despite, despite the fact that it's you know, a really early part of the game... I can't remember. Can the bulls be defeated by the golden, the Wonder Wing? Uh, they can be knocked out. They can't be killed. <laughs> Mario Kart DS. Yeah. <laughs> Is this just like the Hyrule Cap Castle Mario reference? Uh, no, there, there's little game references everywhere. Like, look, there's Snake Ladder, there's like references to various rare games. And... I'm sure there's a grab by the Gooby somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Let's like, I don't know where Grab by the Goobies is. I haven't seen it yet, but I know it's bound to be somewhere. So the designer just put in some random stuff in here. Not random, it's just little fun references to the mod. Like fun easter eggs. Basically okay. just abandoned I know where you are, Kokiri. Like Zelda yeah, Kale. Kokiri Forest. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it looks like he like combined assets. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's... It's a banjo kazooie style game. It's a banjo kazooie style game in basically open world time, but it's good stuff. You ever think about the fact that Link has a cow when he's a, 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 an adult? I guess. It's just... No, but like, how did the cow get there? He's in a treehouse for one. He has a cow. Yeah, he has a cow as an adult. There's a cow in his treehouse when he's an adult. I didn't figure that out until, like, later playthroughs. Like, when my, uh, younger siblings were playing. Yeah. So it's like a quick way to get some milk, if you need milk. But it still makes me question how that cow got there. Yeah. Oh, is this the uh, Hyrule Castle? Yeah, it's Castle Town. And I'm not completely sure oh, I think it's in the next area. It's I the I, town. I, I guess I'll show off various areas. I can't believe only five minutes have passed. Yeah. Well, eight minutes, I guess.
Okay. Oh, is it a 12-minute timer? It's like a 13-minute timer. 13 it's spooky. Once it gets down to like less than a minute, I'll switch back and do the count. Hey, Charlotte, screw it. I'll just show you all the other areas. Uh, I'll show you Death Mountain. Death Mountain is what I want to do. Oh man, this kind of reminds me of like. Oh shit, don't give me the. A back. low poly Magic Kazooie nuts and bolts now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like that one town where you start off in. Yeah. Uh, the, uh. I forgot what the town's name is. Yeah, let me try the Wonder Woman thing. Yeah, it just normally you have to like knock him out in three hits, but the Wonder Woman just knocks him out in one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the Death Mountain. I'm also watching the timer. Three minutes left. Yeah. I'm waiting for my new year. Like, I, I have no idea what's gonna happen. For all I know, it's just gonna kick me back to menu. I've never seen anything with, like, a bad ending for this game. Funny how you can just remember how everything looks, even though I have never played the game. Oh, it's turning. Was it? Why was it turning dark? Oh, because. Uh, I don't know, because I haven't been touching the controller. I went into like a sleep uh, mode. Uh, they turned the uh, Goron Chieftain's room into Mumble's hut. <laughs> Basically, all the transformation are the transformations like you know, but like they, they have a gag where like you turn into a bomb bag and say, hey, go to the bomb shop, and then they brick roll you. And all, all it's basically just a pumpkin transformation. <laughs> Backpack and hey, you're not red, you're blue, Draycor. Okay, yeah, let's, let's switch back to Ghoulies. Right. Back on transform to screen. Okay. Here we go. Something tells me it's going to be very disappointing. Show me any. Save anyone. <laughs> oh no, you let time run out. All skeleton door locks. You no longer. You must leave now. <sighs> oh! Okay, so. <laughs> just runs. Oh. oh, it just skips past everything. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 
Okay, yeah, so it just skips the, uh... Okay, that's kind of... I mean, I mean, it's cool that, like... <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, I get it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's just... It just skips the whole imp thing. So Ma Soup's will is just like a bonus fight? Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's to get the better score at the end. Yeah, the imp, the, the chef fight is the bonus reward for getting all the uh, prisoners. And then you get the best score, right? You, it's so you can get the best score at the end, too. That's so weird. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, you could probably do the uh, hard mode challenge. And once you get to that part, just like like the amber mode, you could just stand around and wait 13 minutes and you won't get a great score. But well, actually, no, I guess if you want to platinum, it's got to do good. But, uh actually gotta try but if you just want to beat it you can just stand there for 13 minutes well now i know i learned a new thing about the game <laughs> you just you just escape oh well thank thanks for watching everyone see you next week hopefully for halo 3 mm -hmm. bye bye